Saturday, the 12th of June, 2021. Welcome to Evening Prayer, Proper 5. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Blessed be the Lord our God, by whose grace we are yet alive. Blessed be his Son, Jesus Christ, by whose rising we are set free. Blessed be the Spirit of God, in whom is our hope and our joy. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship, praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship bear witness to your peace and saving power. Through your Spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and our ascended Lord, Amen. Glory to you, Lord God, our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple and on the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you, seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you, beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven, glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Let us pray to the Lord for the forgiveness of our sins. 
Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone, and so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant, merciful Lord, to your faithful people, pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Psalms appointed for today are Psalms 23 and 27. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He revives my soul and guides me along right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup is running over. Surely your goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 27 The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom then shall I be afraid? When the evildoers came upon me to eat up my flesh, it was they, my foes and my adversaries, who stumbled and fell. Though an army should encamp against me, yet my heart shall not be afraid. And though war should rise up against me, yet I will put my trust in him. One thing have I asked of the Lord. One thing I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the fair beauty of the Lord, and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble he shall keep me safe in his shelter. He shall hide me in the secrecy of his dwelling and set me upon a high rock. Even now he lifts up my head above my enemies round about me. Therefore, I will offer in his dwelling an oblation with songs of great gladness. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hearken to my voice, O Lord, when I call. Have mercy on me and answer me. You speak in my heart and say, Seek my face. Your face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not your face from me, nor turn away your servant in displeasure. You have been my helper. Cast me not away, do not forsake me. O God of my salvation, though my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord will sustain me. Show me your way, O Lord, lead me on a level path because of my enemies. Deliver me not into the hands of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen up against me, and also those who speak malice. What if I had not believed that I should see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living? O oh, tarry and await the Lord's pleasure. Be strong, and he shall comfort your heart. 
wait patiently for the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Word of the Lord, written in the book of Numbers, chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. This is the lineage of Aaron and Moses at the time when the Lord spoke with Moses on Mount Sinai. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, Nadab, the firstborn, Anabihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, the appointed priests, whom he ordained to minister as priests. Nadab, Anabihu, died before the Lord when they offered unholy fire before the Lord in the wilderness of Sinai. And they had no children. Eleazar and Ithamar served as priests in a lifetime of their father Aaron. Then the Lord spoke to Moses saying, Bring the tribe of Levi near and set them before Aaron the priests so that they may assist him. They shall perform duties for him and for the whole congregation in front of the tent of meeting, doing service at the tabernacle. They shall be in charge of all the furnishings of the tent of meeting and attend to the duties for the Israelites as they do service at the tabernacle. You shall give the Levites to Aaron and his descendants. They are unreservedly given to him from among the Israelites. But you shall make a register of Aaron and his descendants. It is they who shall attend to the priesthood and any outsider who comes near shall be put to death. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, I hereby accept the Levites from among the Israelites as substitutes for all the firstborn that open the womb among the Israelites. The Levites shall be mine, for all the firstborn are mine. When I killed all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I consecrated for my own all the firstborn in Israel, both human and animal. They shall be mine. I am the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in you, O God, my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you. From generation to generation you have shown strength with your arm, and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things, and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise made to all forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. A reading from the Word of God, written in the Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 17, beginning at verse 1. Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter and James and his brother John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, 
and his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became dazzling white. Suddenly there appeared to them Moses and Elijah, talking with him. Then Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, I will make three dwellings here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, suddenly a bright cloud overshadowed them, and from the cloud a voice said, This is my Son, the Beloved. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell to the ground and were overcome by fear. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Get up and do not be afraid. And when they looked up, they saw no one except Jesus himself alone. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus ordered them, Tell no one about the vision until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. And the disciples asked him, Why then do the scribes say that Elijah must come first? He replied, Elijah is indeed coming and will restore all things. But I tell you that Elijah has already come, and they did not recognize him. But they did to him whatever they pleased. So also the Son of Man is about to suffer at their hands. Then the disciples understood that he was speaking to them about John the Baptist. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory to your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord, reveal your love among us, that we may know the joy of your salvation. Grant peace within and among all nations, and teach our leaders wisdom. Endow your church with faithfulness, and her servants with knowledge and true godliness. Defend, O Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed, that your justice may be known among all people. Lord, renew your spirit within us, that in us and through us 
your will may be done. Proper 5 O God, from whom all good proceeds, grant that by your inspiration we may think those things that are right, and by your merciful guiding may do them through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A colleague for Saturday. O God, the source of eternal light, shed forth your unending day upon us who watch for you, that our lips may praise you, our lives may bless you, and our worship on the morrow give you glory. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, our Heavenly Father, you have blessed us and given us dominion over all the earth. Increase our reverence before the mystery of life and give us new insight into your promises for the human race and new wisdom and determination in making provision for its future in accordance with your will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Dedication Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your Holy Word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our paths, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.